Hello investors and welcome to another video. A few days ago, may nagtanong sa comment section natin na si Sir Jason Jimenez. Thank you Sir Jason. Ano po ba mas maganda, G-Save or G-Invest? I think it's a valid question and marami namang nakasagot kay Sir Jason kung ano yung difference between the two. Pero, in this video, i-expound ko lang ng konti kung ano yung difference between the two para makalid tayo sa informed decision when deciding where to put our cash. Let's begin! Sa hindi pa familiar sa GCash na features, actually marami kang magagawa inside of GCash. The primary function of GCash itself is to hold your money because it is a digital wallet. It is not a bank. So meaning, meron siyang mga features na hindi magagawa na magagawa ng usual na bank. And one example is to maintain a deposit account or savings account. And this is where GSAVE comes in. G-Save is a partnership between G-Cash and CIMB na bank. Right now, as I am making this video, yung interest rate nito is 4% for the first 250,000 pesos. And after 250,000, 2.6% na lang yung interest rate nito. Another feature within G-Cash is G-Invest. I already made a video discussing yung ups and downs ng G-Invest. It is a marketplace wherein makakabili ka ng mga investment products. Right now, yung investment products na pwede mong bilhin are managed by Atrum. And pwede pa itong madagdagan in the future. Now, to answer Jason's question, ano ba yung mas maganda between these two? Depende po yan sa goals nyo sa pera nyo. Iba yung goal ng G-Save as a product and iba rin yung goal ng mga products within G-Invest. To explain further, let's talk about three features ng mga investment products na ito. Liquidity, potential risk, and potential returns. Let's start with liquidity. Sa mga beginners, liquidity in investment products refers to how easily an asset or a security can be converted back into cash. So in terms of liquidity, yung cash yung pinaka-liquid na form of asset. And other securities, less liquid than cash. And mas liquid yung some securities and investment products compared to others. Depende kung how easily they can be converted back to cash. Relatively high liquidity yung both G-Save and G-Invest. Pero, as I mentioned sa other video ko about G-Invest, meron kang 7 days between selling your positions in G-Invest and then getting your money back sa GCash account mo. So, meron siyang delay na 7 days, making it less liquid compared sa deposit account na G-Save. So, in terms of liquidity, if there is a need for you na mabalik yung pera mo sa'yo agad-agad, then you may not want to put it in G-Invest because of the 7 days delay making it less liquid than G-Save. So, kung gusto mo yung liquidity or you prefer liquidity, you want to put it in G-Save if you are choosing between the two. Now, let's go to risk. Risk is the potential na bumaba yung value ng pera mo. Whenever your money is out of your hands or nilagay mo siya sa any type of institution, investment, product, or asset, there is a potential risk na mawawala yung some value of your money. Sa G-Save, because of the low interest rate of 2.6%, one of the most obvious na risks is inflation risk. Wherein, mas mataas yung pagtaas ng inflation compared sa pagtaas ng value ng money mo. Right now, we are averaging around 4% per month as of 2021. And at 2.6%, mas mahina yung tubo ni G-Save compared sa inflation rate. So G-Invest naman, we have what we refer to as market risk. Ito yung meron sa investment markets na wala sa deposit accounts. Bakit market risk? Because basically, yung mga securities, they are traded in a market. A market is basically just yung platform or lugar where there is buying and selling of a specific type of product, service, commodity, or securities. Like yung stock exchange is just a market where we buy and sell securities. So there are two types of participants in a market. Number one, buyers. 
Number two, sellers. In a securities market, they are collectively called investors or traders. Yung mga investors and traders na to, depende kung ano yung expectations sila sa market, they create what we call the general investor sentiment. Yung investor sentiment leads to buying and selling pressures in the market. And this directs the direction of the prices in the market. Kung up and down ba yung presyo. A good example is the pandemic lockdown noong March 2020. Yung prevailing market sentiment at the time was fear kung ano yung mangyayari sa market because of the coming pandemic. Because of this fear, merong malakas na selling pressure sa market which led to sa pagbagsak ng presyo because gustong ilabas ng mga investors yung pera nila, either to protect profits or to protect capital. So that is an example of market risk. Any factor that may affect investor sentiment and may lead them to sell at a lower price. Yan yung market risk. Now let's go to potential returns. Yung liquidity, risk, and potential returns, they are all interconnected. For example, si G-Save, meron siyang fixed rate of return na 2.6 per annum. Or if promo yung pag-set up mo, then 4% per annum. This is fixed regardless kung gaano baka profitable yung G-Save or yung CIMB. Yung G-Invest naman, yung potential return mo could be 15, 25, or even 30%. Depende sa buying price mo and sa selling price mo. So for example, if you bought at the lowest point of the PSEI and nakabenta ka at the highest point, pwedeng meron ka ng 40 to 50% return. Because mas maliit yung rate of return with G-Save, mas maliit rin yung risk sa kanya. There is a lower chance na bumaba yung value ng capital mo in G-Save. And there is higher liquidity. Sa G-Invest naman, you are risking your money with market risks. And you're giving up liquidity. Pero, you are doing this in exchange for higher potential returns. So, ano bang mas maganda for you? Depende yan sa goal mo. Kung ano ba yung purpose ng pera mo in the short term and in the long term. So, for example, if need mo yung pera for short term goals or gagamitin mo siya for your emergency fund, then sa G-Save mo siya lagay. Although na mahina yung rate of return mo sa G-Save, you are lessening the risk na mawawala yung capital mo and you are increasing its liquidity. Meaning, pwede mo siyang makuha in case na need mo siya agad-agad. Pero if yung intended purpose ng pera mo is for long-term goals like retirement for example, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa G-Invest. Because right now, we are coming from a low base, coming from the pandemic dip. And expected na tataas yan in the coming years, when the economy goes back to normal. And unlike last year, na hindi pa tayo sure kung when ito mag end yung pandemic na to, right now, we have the light at the end of the tunnel, which is yung herd immunity offered by the many vaccines coming into the country. The question na lang right now is, how fast can the economy recover? So if you are willing to put your money long term in investment products, pwede mong ilagay ito sa G-Invest. Marami pang ibang investment products and platforms in the market right now. Kung mas marami ang kilala mo ng platforms and products, mas marami rin yung options mo and mas higher yung chance mo na makakreate ng informed decisions. So subscribe lang and like this video para makareceive ka ng notifications for future videos wherein we talk about the different investment products and asset types kung saan pwede mong ilagay yung pera mo. Thanks and ingat guys. That's it for today. Bye!